Welcome back to today's video of mine. What's waiting for us? Leave a 1 in the comments and let's start the video right away. Crocodile farms are mainly concentrated in Guangdong province, where the warm climate is favorable for breeding these reptiles. The crocodile farming environment in China is typically designed to mimic natural conditions, featuring large water ponds and sunbathing areas to help the crocodiles grow healthily. The enclosures are built solidly, surrounded by high walls and steel mesh to ensure safety and prevent crocodiles from escaping. The cost of constructing crocodile enclosures depends on the scale and level of modernization of the farm. The initial investment includes building breeding ponds, a drainage system, protective fencing, and related infrastructure. In a farm environment, Crocodiles reproduce according to their natural cycle but under strict control to ensure productivity and high-quality hatchlings. During the breeding season, usually in spring or early summer, female crocodiles dig nests along pond banks or in soft sand areas arranged by the farm. Each nest contains between 20 and 50 eggs, which the mother covers with soil or leaves to maintain a stable temperature. However, to increase the hatching rate, the eggs are often collected and placed in artificial incubators, where the temperature is maintained at around 86 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 60 to 80 days, the eggs hatch into baby crocodiles. In the wild, their survival rate is very low due to the risk of predation by other animals. However, in Chinese farms, baby crocodiles are kept separately in specialized tanks with controlled water temperature and sufficient food, increasing the survival rate to over 80%. During the first year, they grow rapidly and reach a length of about 3 feet. In Chinese crocodile farms, the feeding regimen is strictly controlled to ensure optimal growth rates and high-quality skin. Crocodiles are carnivorous, so their diet mainly consists of fresh meat or specially formulated feed. Farms typically provide fish, chicken, pork, or animal organs, sometimes mixed with vitamins and minerals to enhance nutrition. Some farms use commercially processed pellet feed, which helps reduce costs and is easier to store. The food can be either soft or dry, but crocodiles generally prefer wet, strong-smelling meat. The amount of food depends on the crocodile's age and size. Juvenile crocodiles under one year old are fed once daily in small portions, while adult crocodiles are fed two to three times a week with larger meals. Diet has a direct impact on a crocodile's health. A lack of protein or minerals can result in slow growth, weakness, or bone issues. On the other hand, overfeeding can lead to obesity, which reduces skin quality 
the most crucial factor in the crocodile leather industry. Farm-raised crocodiles in China typically take between 3 to 5 years to reach the ideal size before being processed for the leather industry. When fully grown, they measure around 6 to 8 feet in length and develop thick, beautifully textured skin, making them suitable for high-end craftsmanship. Some farms raise crocodiles for up to seven years to ensure the highest leather quality, though this increases farming costs. Chinese crocodile leather is a key material in the luxury fashion industry. Major brands such as Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, and Chanel use crocodile leather to craft high-end handbags, shoes, wallets, and watch straps. Among them, Hermes is especially known for its Birkin and Kelly bags made from crocodile leather, each costing tens of thousands of dollars. China is not only a major supplier of crocodile leather, but also home to many specialized workshops that manufacture leather goods for international luxury brands. Leave a 1 in the comments if you'd love to own a crocodile leather product. Crocodile leather workshops in China are mainly concentrated in Guangzhou, Shanghai, and Shenzhen, leading hubs for leather production. These workshops not only supply raw materials, but also craft finished products for major fashion houses. Beyond the luxury leather industry, crocodiles generate significant economic value across multiple sectors. Not only their skin, but also their meat, bones, teeth, and even blood are fully utilized, creating a massive value chain. Crocodile meat is becoming increasingly popular in the high-end food market, particularly in China. With its high protein content, low fat, and rich amino acids, crocodile meat is considered a nutritious delicacy, often prepared in soups, hot pots, or grilled dishes. Luxury restaurants in Guangzhou, Beijing, and Shanghai are willing to pay a premium for this meat, providing crocodile farms with a substantial additional revenue stream. Crocodile bones, on the other hand, hold value in the pharmaceutical industry. According to traditional Chinese medicine, crocodile bones are used to produce remedies for asthma, arthritis, and immune system enhancement. Several pharmaceutical companies have developed capsule and powder products derived from crocodile bones, introducing them to the market at high prices. Beyond China, Thailand is one of the world's largest crocodile farming nations, supplying leather, meat, and other crocodile-based products to the international market. Thailand has over 1,000 crocodile farms, with an estimated crocodile population of 1.2 million. The country is particularly renowned for breeding Siamese crocodiles. Thailand is a leading exporter of crocodile leather, supplying materials to luxury brands such as Hermes, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton.
Tanneries and crocodile leather manufacturing workshops are concentrated in Bangkok and Samut Prakan, where modern processing facilities are located. Each year, tens of thousands of crocodile hides from Thailand are exported to Europe, the United States, and China. Leave a zero if you don't like this video of mine. Monitor lizards are among the most economically valuable reptiles, widely farmed in many countries for their leather, meat, and medicinal uses. Indonesia stands out as the world's largest producer and exporter of monitor lizards. Thanks to its tropical climate and suitable ecosystem, monitor lizard farms in Indonesia have flourished, supplying hundreds of thousands of specimens annually to both domestic and international markets. The monitor lizard leather industry is one of the most profitable sectors. Monitor lizard leather is soft, flexible, and features unique natural patterns, making it an ideal choice for the fashion industry. Luxury brands such as Gucci, Prada, and Hermes use monitor lizard leather to manufacture high-end handbags, footwear, and belts. Compared to crocodile leather, monitor lizard leather is more affordable while still maintaining durability and aesthetic appeal, allowing it to reach a broader customer base. Each year, Indonesia exports over 100,000 monitor lizard hides to Europe and the United States, generating millions of dollars in revenue. Beyond its leather value, monitor lizards are also considered a delicacy in many Asian countries, including China, Thailand, and Vietnam. Monitor lizard meat is high in protein, low in cholesterol, and is believed to have health benefits. In Indonesia, it is commonly prepared in stews, stir-fries, grilled dishes, and soups. In addition to domestic consumption, monitor lizard meat is also exported at prices ranging from $8 to $15 per kilogram, providing an additional income source for farmers. Moreover, monitor lizards hold significant value in traditional medicine. Monitor lizard fat is used to treat burns, eczema, and joint pain due to its anti-inflammatory properties. Meanwhile, its bile is believed to boost the immune system and aid in treating lung diseases. Medicinal products derived from monitor lizards, such as balms, capsules, and essential oils, are highly sought after in China and Malaysia. Water monitors are primarily farmed in China, India, and several Southeast Asian countries. They are medium-sized, measuring approximately 3 to 5 feet in length, and have thick skin with distinctive patterns, making them highly sought after in the leather industry. This species is also used in traditional Chinese medicine, particularly its fat and bile, which are believed to help treat joint diseases and support the immune system.